All right, welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company accounting lesson. Here we are going to be moving on to posting to a general ledger. So, so far we have journalized page one and page two of the journal. Our next step is to post what we did in our general journal, these two pages of journal entries to our general ledger. Um, now, as a reminder, all of our blank sheets are available on the website. I will link to that down in the description below. All right, and off to the side, we do have this navigation bar if you don't feel like scrolling up and down, but I'll probably be mostly scrolling for this one. All right, so starting with our first entry. So we see on January 1st, we have a debit to cash. So we are going to have to reference that in our general ledger under the cash ledger. So on January 1st, this is on the first page of the journal. We had to debit, we had a debit to cash of 160,000, which means our balance is now 160,000. Now keep in mind, in order to say that this is posted, we use the account number from the ledger, posted. Moving on to common stock. Let's see if I can go ahead and just really quickly. There you go. Common stock on the 1st of January, first page of the journal as well. We credited common stock for 25,000, so there is a 25,000 credit balance. Next is paid in capital nexus of par. First page of the journal. We credited it for 135,000, so there's a 135,000 credit. That is account number 32, posted. Moving on to the next transaction on January 1st, we have prepaid rent. Here we go, prepaid rent, first day of January, first page of the journal, and that was a debit of 18,000. So remember, whatever we did in the journal entry, that's what we're doing in these first two columns. So we debited that one for 18,000, and since there was no prior balance, that is a 18,000 debit balance. And that is account number 15, posted. All right, now let's do something that's a little bit more interesting. Here on January 1st, we credited cash for 18,000. So January 1st, again, first page of the journal, we credited cash, notice here, for 18,000, which means that our balance, it was previously 160,000, we just offset that with a credit, so that's going to decrease it. So remember when we are dealing with uh, those debits and credits, if we have a debit balance and we debit it, that's going to make it go up. If we have a debit balance and we credit it, that's going to drag it down. Um, it would be the opposite for credit. If we had a credit balance and we credit it, that's an add. If we had a credit balance and we debit it, that's a deduct. Right? So here we had 160000 we spent, remember this was us uh, paying cash for three months of rent in advance, so that's going to drag down our balance in cash to 142000 All right, moving on to advertising expense. Actually, I did set these up for a reason, so might as well use them. All right, this is on the 2nd of January. First page of the journal, we debited advertising expense for 8,500. Posted. And remember, if I'm ever going too slow, you can always speed this video up a little. I know that posting can be a little monotonous. All right, we credited cash for 8,500 here. So we previously had 142,000, we, and that was a debit. We just credited that account, so we are going to minus out the $8,500, and we're left with $133,500 in cash. Done. All right, I'm gonna speed things up just a little bit. Every once in a while I might stop, particularly if I am doing uh, kind of like an update to a balance. But uh, for the most part, it's the same kind of system that we've been using the whole time. And that is a credit to cash. So again, 133,500 minus 3,000, done. Equipment, first page of the journal, debit of 54,000, and that will be the same for the balance. 
Now, one of the biggest questions that are usually um, asked of me is, is this really what accountants do all day? Uh, not necessarily if you are someone who is interested in getting an accounting degree. We usually have software to complete most of this nowadays. However, it is very important that you understand the basics of how the accounting system works so that when something doesn't look right, for example, if your system was telling you that accounts payable had a debit balance, accounts payable will never, ever, ever have a debit balance. We might debit it to make it go down, but the balance will never be a debit. So it is vital that you actually have an understanding of how the system works behind the scenes. Otherwise, you know, you might make some errors or not catch errors, I should say. We're all going to make errors probably at some point. All right, we have a debit to cash of 205000 Here we're finally able to see what a debit plus a debit do. So we're going to be adding that to our cash balance. Preferred stock. Here we go. Okay, and that's 33. And then down here. And that's 34. Up to accounts receivable. And remember, whenever you're doing this, ask yourself what type of account is it and what should the balance be? Accounts receivable is an asset. And uh, assets should always have a debit balance. There we go. Consulting revenue is a revenue. Revenue should always have a credit balance. So you can kind of check your work as you go if you do have a strong understanding of your debits and credits and your elements or account types. And this again, 335000 plus our new debit. That'll make the balance go up. Unearned revenue. Ask yourself, what type of account is unearned revenue? That is a liability account. So it should have a credit balance. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on to accounts payable. Here we see accounts payables going down and cash is going down, which means we're paying off a little bit of what we owe. So on the 14th, first page of the journal, we debited accounts payable. We decreased it by 14000 That means while our balance previously was 54000 we paid off a little bit, so now we only owe 40000 So remember, kind of talk to yourself as you're doing these and make sure you're understanding what's happening in the real world as you do it. So here, cash is credited for 14000 So we are spending some cash, which means that our balance is going down. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the second page. Another one on the 14th. Ooh. J2, because this is the second page of the journal. Increasing it by 10000 Debit and a debit are added. Accounts receivable. Second page of the journal. We credited it. So ask yourself, if we're getting cash and accounts receivables going down, what does that mean? A customer paid off a portion of their account. And you can even go back to your uh, journal entry transaction information to kind of check it, make sure you're understanding what happened. It's actually a really good way of ensuring that you understand what's going on in these transactions. All right. 15th, more cash. Mm, that's a debit. So what is going to happen to this balance? It is going to increase. Consulting revenue. There it is. Credit. 
credit and a credit, we're going to add those. So, so far this month, we have 112,000 in revenue. All right, cash dividends common. Here we go. Eight thousand to common posted and cash dividends for preferred two thousand for preferred and we are posted and then cash dividends payable that is a liability account here it is ten thousand credit that's a 10,000 credit balance and posted. Here we're purchasing a little bit more of that equipment. This time it's going to be in cash. Uh, second page of the journal. Make sure I did that right for a cash dividends payable. Beautiful. And for our J2, J2. Okay. All right. So second page of the journal on the 20th of January, we debited equipment for 2,500. A debit and a debit have to be added together. Let's go to our cash. Cash is going to be credited for 2,500. So we had 403,500 and that's a debit and we credited it. So that's going to be taken away from the balance. All right, back down to advertising expense. Second, oh, not a K2, J2, there we go. We had a little bit more of that advertising. So now we have in total 13,500 in advertising for the month. Let's go back up to cash. And that is a 5,000 credit. All right, another one with cash. And cash is going right back up. <laughs> so 396,000 plus our debit of 5,000 back to 401,000 after the 28th. And accounts receivable. Again, we're seeing accounts receivable go down here. We know that because it's an asset and it's being credited. It Credited. <laughs> so we see that it is another instance where our customers are paying off the balances on their accounts. So now they're down to 75,000 that they owe us. Another one on the 28th. Debit of 3,000. 51. Back up to cash. Three thousand and posted. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of the caches since we're running a little low on time. I have a little bit of a 15 minute limit here. So let's go ahead and finish up cash and I'm sure that you can see what we did for the rest of these. So on J2, we credited cash for 10,000. I'm actually going to do all of those and then finish the balances later. J2, credit of 20,000, 20,000. And then on our last one on the January 31st, J2, 800. And that means that for each of these, it's the prior one minus our credit. So let's drag that down. And we did 11, 11, and 11. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these up as I do our little outro into our next one. Um, on our next one, we are going to be going over how to do an unadjusted trial balance. Um, keep in mind, we're simply taking all of these balances and we are transferring them over into one sheet that will show us um, basically what the balance in each account is. Okay. So until next time, I will see you in the next video and uh, keep up the hard work. Great job so far.